Question 3.1 asks us to show that the graph can be used to solve for 2 over x plus 3 is greater than 2. Okay, so they ask us to show to somehow use the graph um, of f to solve this inequality. But what I want you to notice is 2 over x plus 3 is part of what we have. As you can see there, we just need the negative 2. So if we go and look, then you see, ah, but there's a 2 on the right hand side. Okay, if we subtract it on both sides, in other words, at this point, we have 2 over x plus 3 is larger or equal to 2. If I subtract this on both sides, then I have 2 over x plus 3 minus 2 is greater or equal to 0 and that means I can have the same this is the same as asking when is fx greater or equal to 0 and that's what they want me to put in here okay here they tell me to take everything to the left so 2 2 over x plus 3 just put x plus 3 in brackets so that it knows that's the whole denominator and then we uh, subtract the negative 2 on both sides in other words negative 2 and that we want to have greater or equal to 0 okay so that we have actually that fx is greater or equal to 0 Okay, question 3.2. Solve for this. Okay, now there's different ways of doing it. Okay, but we can just use our graph. We can use our graph. And the question is, when, for what x values, will f of x be greater than 0? So if we look at our graph, this is where we read off f of x on the vertical axis. And we want to know when will f of x be positive, in other words, greater than 0. And that means for these values, for all of these values. Now, what will the x values be? Well, the x values will be all the values between this red line and b. Now, we've already calculated what b, sh b is. b is the x-intercept which we calculated to be negative 2 okay. so it's between negative 2 and this line now this line horizontal vertical line okay, we saw was the vertical asymptote which we've also already done it was negative 3 was the vertical asymptote so that means x is between the values negative 3 and negative 2. Okay, they ask us enter an interval using interval notation. That's the bracket notation. notation. So between negative 3 and negative 2. The only difference is that negative 2 is included because it's an equal sign and x may be equal to negative 2 that's the x-intercept but x will never be equal to negative 3 and that is why this one will have a round bracket